Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, I hope you will find some inspiration on my channel. I am journal maker and I love to create vintage journals and I love to create journals with some uh, openings and something interesting. And today I'm coming to share with you how you can create this little booklet with a little surprise here. With a little pop-up thingy. I have designed this uh, little booklet especially for this uh, journal I'm creating with my Patreons. It will be kind of like white witch, boho witch style. And I needed something that will be soft and uh, funny. So this is it. My little flower pop-up and the following tutorial. I hope you will enjoy it. So for today pop-up uh, card or journal page i do have for you three sheets actually one it's with these uh, flowers with these gerbera flowers few butterflies and leaves the other one it's with these two flowers uh, kind of combined together so they will be cut it off together and fold it on half and uh, with this journal cover please forgive this line it's not in the design design my crazy printer just did that and the third one it's background print you can print it on both uh, of these designs i did print it just here where there it's that journal cover I have printed this one on three, uh, 250 GSM cardstock, nice and heavy cardstock. And this one I have printed on 160 GSM. It's lighter and I know uh, once these flowers will be cut out and glued together, it will be nice uh, pop-up uh, pop picture. <laughs> so I'm going to fussy cut out all these images and we will put it together. I do have fussy cut out everything. I did use uh, my inks on back side of these images. And I'm going to also distress the edges of these flowers just to give them a little bit of that vintage feeling. I'm using, uh, as my distress ink, I'm using Sandstorm from Spectrum Noir. Sun Sandstorm. So I'm going to distress the edges on all these images with this ink and then we will start to put it together. So I'm going to start with the, these uh, flowers. So uh, first you need to fold them. So I'm going to zoom and as you can see uh, these flowers are from seven petals and there are dot lines so you need to fold them in those in these dot lines and you can do it just very easy way that you will fold it on half and then you will kind of you know move yourself and fold it again on half where i am here <laughs> and again move and fold it on half so you can just fold it or if you want to have it exactly you will need a ruler and some ball uh, embossing tool, any kind of embossing tool. You will take your ruler and with that embossing tool you're gonna score these dot lines and then fold. So I'm gonna do it with all of these flowers. I do have all flowers uh, folded. I also use bone folder and burnish all these folds to make sure that the paper will be flexible. And now I'm gonna start to glue the flowers together to make sure that I can make that pop-up thingy. So as you can see here part, uh, it's empty, these two last petals you're gonna glue together so i'm gonna put the glue here on the left one i'm gonna grab the right one slide it together then flood the flower with these glued together and i'm gonna flat it down on my table and let it dry uh, this flower this um, 
Gerbera. <laughs> Gerbera flower. It's not, the petals are not exactly. So it's good if you will glue them same way and flat them same way. That way you will make sure that your pop-up thingy will work really nicely and you will don't get stuck with something what don't want to open properly. So again, glue these two together, flat this one, place it on your table and flat it like this. So you will have exact shapes. Again, here, put them together, flat these and flat it on the table. So I'm gonna do all seven the same way. I do have all my seven flowers glued together. I'm gonna place them in this position so it will be more understandable for me how to glue them together. I'm gonna start with this top one and I'm gonna put a glue here on the left side on the top of the petals. I'm gonna grab this and place it this way. and hold. Kind of follow that score line here. Now I'm gonna put the glue here on the right side again just on the top. I'm gonna grab this flower and do exactly same. Follow the score line here and place there my flower and glue it. Now this will come to work. So here I'm going to put the glue on these three top, uh, these three petals again on the top. I'm going to grab this flower and place it on the top and again follow all these score lines. And because we folded it and glue it together exactly same way, so it should be sitting and now these three. So again, this, I'm gonna put the glue here on this petal and here on this petal. Again, just on the top, I'm gonna get up this flower and place it this way. Again, follow the shapes before. And the score lines before. Now this one, so it will be the right side, again this and this petal, just on the top, put the glue, get up this flower and follow score line here. So it will be sitting nicely. And the last one, these three middle petals, one, two, three, again top of these petals, grab your flower and place it there, follow the score lines. Put your flower, flower aside and let it dry properly before you will try to do that uh, pop-up thingy. So place it on the side, let it dry properly. Now we can move to these two. I distress the edges here as well. I didn't distress edges here. So this one, I'm just gonna fold it on half. I'm gonna uh, put together these two ends. They are mirrored images, so you will don't have hard time to fold it on the half. And I'm gonna use my bone folder and burnish like this. And here, as I said, I did print out on 250 GSM. It's nice, heavy cardstock. I would like to have this one a little bit like grungy vintage thingy. So I'm gonna take my nail file and I'm gonna sand a little bit before I will use distress ink. I'm gonna sand a little bit the print here on the edges, the cardstock. And I did print out my images on a laser printer, but I do believe this can be done on inject print as well. The sanding the edges to make their, um, you know, white spots. 
and with this sanding you are making the edges of this cardstock slightly thinner so it's more like vintage now I'm gonna grab again same uh, distress ink sandstorm from spectrum noir and I'm gonna distress all these edges so I do have distress edges on both sides now I can just fold it on half Uh, I can grab this flower and uh, I'm gonna sew it in and I think I would like to see it somewhere here yeah so you can either use one flower and glue it down and that way you can fix it to your uh, to that cover or uh, I do have here poking tool and I'm gonna poke just two holes one here and one here and sew the flower in with very simple stitching just from outside inside and back outside and they make a knot So here I can make a knot. I'm gonna use bone folder and a little bit push back these holes from my owl. Cut the string. So I do have base prepared. And now we are ready to glue the flower inside. So open your uh, base card. So put the glue here uh, on your flower. Put the glue here on this middle piece. Place your flower to the fold here. And fold this. Then flip it. I'm gonna flip it this way because <laughs> right handed. Put the glue on again on the middle petal here. Just uh, try to put it just on the top. Maybe I put there quite a lot. And fold this. Now you need to let it dry properly. And I think it's dry. So I'm gonna try if it's dry. It looks good. Good. Now we can add an embellishment. I can add some butterflies here and I think I'm gonna add them here on the edges of these two flowers just to make sure it will be attached properly with even more you know even more glue. So here I can place also these leaves and I'm gonna do so. Just to add there a little bit more glue to make sure it will hold. Here. And maybe one on that opposite side. Just a short edge. And place it right here. Yeah, it will be more secure with this. And I can put that those butterflies. That will be closed and that can be open. Okay, so I'm gonna fold the butterfly and I'm gonna put if 
five will yes so first I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here on the edge of butterfly wing and place it the this flower here and hold it kind of glue it together hold it Now I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on that opposite butterfly wing. Here I can put slightly more glue and I'm gonna fold it down and hold it. And very careful. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get Hold it like the flowers. I'm gonna hold it here to now find the right position. I think this way. Come on. Come on, little one. Ah, yeah. So I'm moving it actually with my finger, kind of give it the right position. Good. I think we are glued so the butterfly it's holding literally on the edge of the wing here and here I kind of move that on the you know with that opening on the right position and it's holding with that triangle here I can do same on that opposite side but I think I'm, I'm okay with this <laughs> so now the rest I can put around and do decorations around I can slide these leaves under the flowers and glue them uh, you know on that large one and because I used my distress inks on that opposite side it looks quite good so I'm gonna slide it there and glue it right here Just to give there some background. And one I think I'm gonna place from the bottom somewhere here. And press it down with one folder. <laughs> okay it's it's moving also that leaf over there well, I'm okay with that it looks quite good and I do have leaves around this one I can place here I think I will like it there and the last one actually anywhere I want And that's my little notebook, little pop-up card journal. I can wrap it with this uh, Utah string. And this can be really interesting, like a gift card, unusual vintage looking gift card. And then when you open it, you do have space for writing. You do have here beautiful butterfly and you do have the pop-up card with flowers and with butterfly here and that was all for today tutorial if you would like to see how I am making this book the tutorial is on my patreon uh, yeah it's on my patreon right now it's <laughs> happening right now all designs uh, are on my Etsy they it is designed on A4 size and also in US letter size to, to be printed out and link will be down below. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. Thank you so so much for jumping in. 
I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you found some inspiration what you can create for your journals or maybe like interesting gift card. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.